All right, now traders, here is our um, update. Okay, the update on the indexes. Yesterday we looked at the mini Russell 120 minute time frame. Okay, so after we saw the high to high trend line extension, we saw this meet resistance towards the close of the prior session, held sideways, and then started to sneak above it. And then obviously here's the big press yesterday morning, 8 to 10 o'clock. Swing highs come in, and now here's the pullback. Okay, so right there's the point of interest we looked at yesterday. The lows at 8140. So again, a full three points off of that bid zone that we looked at, 776 to 778. So no real qualified entry right here. But what this does set up is an impulse leg. So you take a look at previous directional movement was what? Bearish. Now we go from that swing low to this impulse high, followed by a retrace, A to B possible extension B to C. DST traders, aggressive sell, and then copy paste for a drive back down into a potential pattern buy for a swing long entry. Okay. Now let's identify the swing highs right here. The aggressive sell side signal is going to come in. 80140s. Stops have to go above the 807, so probably an 80860 protective stop in the mini Russell. Swing low of this guy right here comes in at 81.40. Okay, so so far intraday right here after the drive down to the new lows, outside return sell right here. And again, whatever your rule of engagement is in your trading plan. Now this is a swing play, so it's going to be let's just use eight points of I'm sorry, seven points of risk, seven hundred dollars per contract. If it does nothing more than come back down to the 782s, obviously about 20 points of opportunities for a one to three risk profile. Okay, so there's the two hour chart. Let's go take a look at the Dow Jones. Okay, so again, Dow moved back down into the inverted head and shoulders buy for a nice winner there and now has rallied into the 618 retracement, 13,720s. Okay, so we see the same impulse move right here on the Dow. Now remember, we were looking yesterday at the higher low and then the possible projection. So I'm going to tighten that chart up. There's the inverted head and shoulders. You see that the retracement came into the 618 as expected. So we'll take this leg of the bigger pattern, pull this guy over. Okay, so we have our impulse, retracement, and now a potential extension. We track the measured move from the swing low to this impulse high and then look for the projection. Now, on the last move right here, we're going to look at the one-to-one -one symmetry from the swing lows, which came in this morning so far. So if we've just seen the lows of the session at 464, then we got projections into 886. Okay, so basically 13,900. Now, again, that would be about 300% um, or 250% ATR, highly unlikely today. So we'll see if this does rally into this point by the close Friday. That'd be an opportunity for a 13,900 short entry for a swing play. Okay, look left, structure relevance. You see 13,9, and right here, structure support, support, and then when they drove through it right here, they came through with big volume at noon and then one o'clock on the 24th of July, and then the outside return 13,9 becomes resistance prior to an 800 point move south. Okay, so we have structure relevance there as well as a one-to-one -one measured move. AB, actually let's go take a look at the NASI. Okay, so NASDAQ broke above the uh, channel and now pulled back down into it. Okay, so anticipated the move into 2000s. We got there yesterday. Swing highs come in at 05 quarter. Okay, so again, here's an outside return to that 2000. Now, let's do a 60-minute chart. And again, note the channel trade. So you see we drive from oversold lower high bullish divergence. Here's an impulse move to a new recent high. Higher low. New structure high. Higher low. New structure high. And then boom, a break of structure. So intraday, we get the lower low, lower close building the current hourly candle. Swing high, recent lows, intraday at 66s, 
outside return 786 1998 and that's right at the gap fill play so 2850 on the stops and again either a trade the pattern or b look for a qualified signal at or near a point of interest okay so nazi 2000 intraday point of interest favorable excursion sells something along those lines okay now if the sell occurs then one to one measured move be a drive down into approximate 1966 to 1970s for a target so again fantastic risk profile any shorts NASDAQ 1998 to 2001 about a three-point offer zone 